Good morning. Nasty cold, wet day. Come on, Cavi, drink up. Tell you what, some of these cimetals are lovely to look at. He's a cracker. Betty, you're looking a bit smaller next to all these calves now. Update on the calf with the jacket. Um, Mother's not completely fooled anyway. I have to get her in the yoke a couple of times a day to make sure the calf gets a proper drink because she does kind of kick and shunt the calf a little bit. Not majorly, so I'm just going to keep doing this, keep at it, and hopefully she'll take that calf on. We have had another calf born through the night. Another Angus looks well, up on its feet, it's had a drink, perfect. Weather update, wet. I must say, I have done a lot of complaining about the weather recently, a lot of moaning. Traffic jam. The dog jumped out the back of the Land Rover. Yep, lager, bandit beer, this stuff, golden nectar. So, last time around, 2,200 litres, six odd thousand bottles. It was a lead up to Christmas, so it was kind of lightning in a bottle timing wise. 19 days and it was all gone. Opinions down below, bandit beer. How many beers should I order? Do I take the sensible route, seven, eight thousand beers, slightly more than last time? Or do I take the bold route of 18,000 beers? I'll need to get it into the island show and whatnot. As you can imagine, 18,000 beers cost quite a lot. Kev's mixing up feed at the moment. 18 ton here, we're gonna split this off into five ton and 13 ton. Five ton is going for the cows. 13 tons going for the fattening cattle. And then instead of waiting for the rain to go off and using this trailer, that covers to go back on. The Stuart trailer at the back left there. No, no, the, the newly painted one so we can get that on. Shift land over out the roads and get out of that trailer. I need another forklift. This machine. Get all these egg boxes shifted out of the way so we can get in at the cover. Kev's got this trailer yoked up. He's just in the trailer right now, sweeping it out. There's a bit of bird dirt in it and there's feed going into it, so it needs a clean out. Everything's cleared from here, so we can now get this down. It's just tied up there and there. We just need to get it down the ground and then roll it up. Or we just lay it straight on top of the trailer and roll it up on top of the trailer. Maybe easier that way. Plan of action, tie that middle rope onto a fork just at the top and then untie the sheet from the rafters and then we should just be able to lay it on top of the trailer. Right. Yeah, that'll do it. Do you want to jump out and take the slack off? Yeah, you lift that up a touch. Just to get the slack off this rope, Kev's just going to lift that middle bit. I've just tied that on. Oh, that's it. This shackle's not quite in the middle. So what we've done, we tied the bottom left corner there so that that end didn't just go poof. Once I've got that bit untied, Kev can just hold this, pull this down while we shift it with a forklift because you can see that's not in the centre of that bar. Potential problem we see is the height. The conveyor there which is in the way we're getting it high enough to get up and over the trailer, but we'll see what we can manage. We'll get up as high as we can, then Kev and I might just need to get the bottom bar in place. It needs to lie, it needs to just go over it, that way upright, and that way upright. If we get it in that slot, then we should get the rest done, no bother. I'll just get Kev in the right place. Yep.
Okay, we've got it latched in here and here. Just in case now I've just dropping it over the other side. Wish we'd flip and power wash it, but we've got it on. I'm not taking it off now. It can be washed when it's on. tools required 13 mil I think but we'll take a 15 and we'll take a 17 in case I'm miles off covers on last thing we're going to do is change the brackets here for the steps they're obviously their new design is they're just solid they don't budge before it went to get sprayed it had the older design which they folded out and I preferred that so we're going to put the old brackets back on they sent them back down for me There's a normal hex key on the outside and then there's an allen on the insides. Kev's going to get more tools. So this design is solid, permanent, doesn't budge. That's where it sits. The old design, the top end here sits further in. The whole thing sits further in slightly, but the bottom lifts up and out and then folds out a bit so it's at an angle and you get there's loads of space for your feet to fit in. I just pre preferred the old one, so don't know why they changed it. I guess it's probably just a bit less complicated this way. Less parts, a bit cheaper. Just the one below that. <laughs> Do we have to take them ones off? Yeah. There's that. Oh, but, slightly. But I've seen that. Maybe leave these on. Put the bottom on. Put them, yeah, put the bottom on first. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm a sensation. You try. That's that. Laurie just in for wheat, just in time, we're finished here. Just gonna chuck the bucket on. These are the old brackets, so you can see why they changed their design. This small amount of brackets, which has just got one fold and a few holes, versus the others, which have a few more bits and bobs and shapes and sizes to them. Tell you what, getting that resprayed, what a job. Looks fantastic. If you chuck new tires on that, that would fetch new prices at an auction. Spotless. It cost us, I think, £2,000. Granted, it was part of a new trailer deal and the old paint had kind of defects and wasn't very good, so it wasn't full whack. We were paying £2,000. I think £4,000 is full whack, or it was at the time. I don't know what price contract this is going out on, but I don't fancy signing any uh, contracts for prices at the moment. After we've loaded this, I'll have a wee look at the prices. Here they are on screen right now. It's trying to have a wee rally, the price. Trying to turn a corner and go the right way. Fingers crossed, it has a wee rally and we can sell some of that. That's one to give the boy, job done. One lorry loaded. The GoPro didn't turn on for some reason. It was on that high beam. Kev's just going to take a load of feed along the road for the cows. I'm going to mix up some minerals into the other feed, which is for the fat cat.
that heat, good to go. Just waiting on Kev getting back, he'll not be long. We're out of minerals for the cows, we're out of minerals for the fat cattle, so Dad's just putting in an order to get a couple more palletfuls. Come on in, much. Hop. Good girl. Kev's back, he's loading up. Once he's loaded up, he's going to head along the road to yard two, where I am going right now. And we're going to weigh a pen of calves, 41 of them. Could only take about an hour or so. Yard two bound. Do you mind, pal? Which pen are you meant to be in? Can you go back to it? Righty ho, let's weigh. Turn it on. Start a new session. Pops up, logs me into my account. Write a description. Let's call this weight. Got the date on it already. Wait for ID. No, because they're not EID. They've not got EID tags. They're not new animals. So we just go next. Start session. What I'm doing today will just be VID. So visual ID, I'll select that. I'll put in the last four digits of their tag and that will bring up the last three times we've weighed them. It'll give us a previous weight, it'll give us a gain and loss, it'll give us a daily weight gain and that tally should reach 41 if we get 41 calves through here. We are good to go. Tapare is all set up, ready for action. It is also a Baltic cold wind today, so I have a jacket on. Start the timer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm moving now. Oh, you beast. Come on. Keep going. Round the corner. Slight snagging point. They do eventually go. On you go. On you go. I've just taken about half of them. Just because I'm on my toad. In you get. Perfect. Just need to go and set up the gates for them coming out the front again. We are ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. What number are you, Koo? One, one, one. Perfect. 466 kilos. Oh, one, man, one. Look up. Previous weight, 426, 1.54 kilos of weight gain. Good to go, next. You just have to let one out, let it zero, and I'm ready. Zero, seven, one, seven. 2.15 kilos of weight gain per day. And one seven eight five. I like to click it again just to check, but it's always pretty bang on. Sorry about the wind. I've no microphone with me either. 1.54 kilos of weight gain that one. That's calf number four. Normally, someone would be back here shifting more in, but. Just me and my Todd today at the moment. Go on. Uh, uh. Used to get about three in there. Come on, one more. This beast had an accident with its horn. That's why we dehorn our, all our calves. That beast got missed and ended up catching it and doing some damage. I'm interested to see if this beast, because it's had a bit of stress with its horn, is going to have lost weight or not put on as much as the rest. Zero, one, oh, seven. Zero, one, oh, seven. Nope, still put on two kilos of daily weight gain. Here's my biggest, a bought in limousine. It's put on 34 kilos since the last time it was weighed. An average of 1.8 kilos a day. Just checking its details there on herd watch. This beast is obviously a bit younger as well. Older, a bit older. It was born November the 14th. Just checked its details here on herd watch. November the 14th born, 22. So it's at least three months older than any of our own stock. 682 kilos it weighs. That's these 30 done. 10 more to go or 11 more to go. Oh, they've run down my shovel. 
Next batch. Got it. <laughs> Voila. All done. It's just uploaded all that data to the cloud system so I can just access that on my phone and my laptop. Done. Turn it off. Kev's just chucking them back in the pen. Oh, what's the time? Let me check. It's 3.55. So that's taken 50 minutes, 51 minutes to run 41 cattle from pen to pen and get their weights. The first half I was on my toad. Job done, cheerio. More rain tomorrow, boom, 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 from 12 o'clock lunchtime till five o'clock the next morning, howling the down rain, class. See you tomorrow. If you've not already, please subscribe, please like the videos, it helps me out and puts a few quid in my pocket so I can spend it all on Defender parts. Oh, oh, do we? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. You get it, you get your hand in there. Looks like. Go on, Penny, get it. Get the mouse, get the mouse. It is a big map. <gasps> nah, I can't.